it's um, December the 7th. We've been out here um, about three days now, up in Stanklia. Um, it's about minus 10, minus 12, but minus 20 when the wind comes in. We're right next to a beautiful frozen lake. Um, and we, we seem to be spending our time at the computer, and sort of stuck to the laptop, looking at the magnetogram, uh, or the magnetic magnetographs. The, uh, whenever there's a sudden movement in the, in the graph, we look at the all-sky camera to see, there's about a minute's delay, and to see what the aurora is, is doing. And then if it looks active, we run out with our, we get our clothes on, our, our long johns, our trousers, our coats, hats, gloves, and cameras, and then we come out and document it and just experience it. And it's absolutely stunning. But the first time I saw it, it was incredibly bright, and it looked like there was a hole in the sky with sun sunlight coming through it. Or it looked like the sky was on fire, it was ridiculous, and I was stuck to the ground, my mouth open, and there's nothing you can do about it. And it's moving continually, which is something you don't get in any um, photographs, or even even the, the, um, the video you get is all grainy, a bit like this one, it's kind of grainy and there's this strange delay. It's just so beautiful. It looks like moving electricity. The camera is located 20 kilometers from where we are at the observatory. And it shows with this Alex Sky camera the uh, image and uh, these lighted lines, depending on the aurora activity, could be detected. This is the moon, and then whenever there is a stronger activity, there would be a wider band or wider bands here. And down here, you could uh, actually see within this dark blue field, whenever it is lighter colors, it indicates some higher activity. The other side we'll uh, check is the, it's going down now, look. Should <laughs> <laughs> really? we go out? Look, look. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. So, this is what we do, spend most of our evenings crunching through the snow, chasing green rainbows across the sky, mm. and then attempting to document it badly, and then uh, but generally having a nice time. Getting a bit freaked out by the odd sound of the ice rumbling or tree creaking. It just can't really be documented, can it? Sorry? It can't really be documented because it's the little cameras, they just take up a little, a little, a little rectangle. And this whole thing is Especially if you would be 
in a place where there are no electric lights around you, no houses. Mm. And no moon, if the moon wasn't there. Yeah. It would really be extraordinary. Although I have a, a feeling of being like a spaceman. All yeah. wrapped up, you know. <laughs> Mm. And you're walking slowly and everything's grey with big long shadows from tripods. <laughs> oh my god, look above! Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's the corona, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh. Moving to the past, flickering. Green. Do you feel like you're underneath something? It moves like electricity. 